Claire Catford. How can I stay married? Is God a woman? Affairs can't hurt, can they? I want to have kids, but I can't. I've got kids and I'm shattered. Why do bad things happen to good people? Does God like a laugh? Sex. Is everyone at it? BBC Radio Berkshire with Claire Catford. If it matters to you, you'll hear about it between 7 and 10 on Sunday morning on BBC Radio Berkshire with me, Claire Catford. People you know, travel you trust. BBC Radio Berkshire with Claire Catford. A very good morning, 25 minutes to 8 if you've just joined us on BBC Radio Berkshire. On the way, continuing our conversation with our three guests this hour, who include Bob Turney, who, uh, how can I put it, you've had a very colourful life, that's a polite way of putting it, isn't it? That's, that's, a, that's a nice way of putting it, Claire. Yeah, In colourful. jail, now out of jail, yeah. now an author, recovering alcoholic, amongst other things, but uh, you've got so much wisdom and so much to offer. We'll be hearing more about your story very shortly. Also, Henna Khan, uh, very involved in the community in Berkshire in terms of your medical experience. Uh, Henna is a gynaecologist at the Royal Berkshire Hospital. And Marilyn Hawes, who is a child abuse activist, been through the mill herself in terms of abuse within her own family and now campaigns to highlight the fact that abusers can be everywhere. Not that you're trying to spook people, but no, you're no, just no. trying to make everybody aware. Raise awareness. Of Raise awareness. Uh, and my name is Claire Catford. Uh, the next tune, it's a kind of sad tale, I suppose, but it's quite poignant for me. The Carpenters, which is going way back, I don't know how far, not quite as ba- far back as Winston <laughs> Churchill's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> that we had before the news and the travel. Um, now, Karen Carpenter had that wonderful voice, but uh, a tragic life. She had an eating disorder. Uh, and I know, Bob, you've worked with people who have been addicted in that particular way, suffered from anorexia all her life. It eventually killed her. Ironically, though, um, the song is very upbeat, but it's kind of quite poignant when you think about her life and times. Have a listen. Taking you great tune but a really challenging life she led Karen Carpenter and the Carpenters and Top of the World 20 minutes to 8 just to say after 8 o'clock we'll be looking at some of the stories that uh, have been talking points in the week so far the protesters at Heathrow how far would you go for something you believe in we'll be looking at that also as Thames Valley Police have recruited 16 year olds to work as police community support officers a lot of people have been critical about that but do we have enough faith in our young people we'll be asking that question and a pedagogy today, Botox tomorrow, teeth whitening on Monday and breast implants on Tuesday all in one week. The secrets, although that obviously yeah. wasn't a secret, but when things are not discussed, they, they fester and they do come out in the end, I think. They do, they do. Yeah. I mean, it was you know, 25 years later in rehab where they managed to get that out of me and get me rebuilding again and get me kick-starting into into the life I've got now. But, you know, it's been a long journey. You had what you describe as a spiritual in- encounter mm. with God when you were in rehab. Just describe what happened. Well, See, I was put on a drug called hemorrhoidin. That was to get me off all the drugs and all the alcohol. And I was put in a sidewalk. And have you experienced that in your own life? Of and course. The, 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 the love of God and the, the gentleness of God. Yeah, and I think it's like the prophet has described it, that God says, you find me as you expect me to be. Bob Turney, Absolutely. I just want to move on to your piece of music and your, your choice of music because um, all our guests uh, this morning get a chance to choose a piece of music and, and tell us why it's particularly poignant you've got zoom at fat larry's band what is it about this oh, well, <laughs> i love this, this tune this is brilliant i've been out of rehab for about 12 months you know and i'm